Hey, what's going on, y'all? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Lumen's hardware ray tracing. Now, a couple of weeks back when UE5 came out, I said, wow, the Lumen reflection looks a lot better in hardware ray tracing. And basically, that's what I'm going to show y'all today. Uh, pretty much just uh, show y'all the difference before the hardware ray tracing in Lumen reflections and then after. Just a heads up, though, you will need a hardware compatible device to get this working. So just kind of heads up up there. So you might not be able to turn this on with your in your machine or whatever. But yeah, we're in here in the arid landscape. If you haven't seen my previous video, go ahead and check it out. I talked about this environment that we're looking at here. It's pretty darn photorealistic. Uh, I have a car here, a really reflective car that I got also in the marketplace just to kind of help demonstrate this here. Uh, what we'll do next is uh, turn on some engine content and plug-in content because what I'll do is I'll get a color calibrator out here now. So to do that, I'll just go right here and type in Calib. And there is a small color calibrator already out, just like so. And I'll just kind of turn this around like this, right? Because what we're looking at is the actual reflections right here and reflection to right here and additionally I'm going to go ahead and create a basic shape a sphere to kind of you know just visualize things for us here so let me go ahead and get this kind of close to the car and this map is perfect for it because it's outdoor so you get some really nice reflections and stuff and uh, as you can see right here we have a chrome ball already in there so I'll go to details and I'll just change the materials to a chrome ball just like so, and that's going to give us even some more reflection, right? So that's looking pretty good. And what we'll do is we'll kind of just go one by one to really see the difference. All right, so what you're looking at right now, this the default setting as far as lumen reflection goes. So if I go to the post process, let's go back to our lumen right here, GI and reflections. I'm going to turn it on. And let's just say, you know, turn it to one right now. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. And this is what we kind of had before and you know it's pretty much so uh, let's see if i can pull this person right here it's pretty much so screen space you know what i mean so if i go right here once i kind of leave that camera pan away from that character it's going to disappear all right you see that the character's right here because i can see that in the viewport but once i go right He's going to start disappearing. Well, that's because it's screen space, right? That's the previous Lumen. All right, guys. So if you haven't done so, go ahead and check out my course on Udemy called How to Create a Movie in Unreal Engine 5 Beginner's Edition. In three and a half hours or so, I'm going to teach you how to pretty much go from installing Unreal Engine 5 to creating this cinematics. So people are asking me if you need to buy motion capture for this. No, you do not actually provide the motion capture files for the course so you can follow along. But what I'll do is I'll switch this over to screen space. So this is like screen space completely. And to be honest, you know, Lumen and screen space, I'll take Lumen any day. And in my next video, I'll actually compare it to the uh, ray tracing right here. It's going to be really fun. So it'll look really good. All right. So we have, this is the default setting software. And to change the hardware, just go to project settings now and make sure that that's good right there. And then I'll type in hardware. So the setting we need is actually right here. All right. This is the new thing right here. Uh, for supported by video card, RHR operating system, then we will fall back to software tracing other wires, okay? So I'm going to click this on, and this, as soon as I do this, you see this reflection on this chrome ball now. Even though this character is not in camera with hardware ray tracing, it's no longer a screen space. And that's one of the things that I noticed right away when I was doing Unreal Engine 5 demos. It was like, holy smokes, hardware ray tracing is not screen space. So this improves the quality dramatically. I mean, you can tell that right here. To me, it seems like the reflections are a lot more physically accurate than the software ray tracing. Again, that character is going to show up, but once I get him out of the screen there, he's going to disappear. Now, this is important because when you're doing cinematics, I mean, for video games, it's fine because, you know, the point of view is always changing. But when you're doing cinematics, if there's a person there, even though the camera is not looking, you still want that person to be there because it's not going to make sense. You know, say you have two talents talking and I need to be able to see that character right there, even though he's not or she's not on the scene. So let's take a look at it right here again. And I'll just kind of, flip this on and off here's hardware and here's software 
And I know a lot of people, and you can even see the reflection of that character right there. And I know people talk about, you know, it's a whole hardware ray tracing stuff. This is gimmick. Um, but that's, honestly, I don't think it is. Because I, I see the results of hardware, you know, acceleration when it comes to graphics card. And this is a, this is a big one here. You know, just uh, to me, at least it looks a lot better. And what you're going to see here again is there's another thing that they added to even increase this quality here. They changed the ray lighting. So this is probably surface cache. So you can see right here, this is surface cache. So you can see nothing changes. But if I now hit this to hit lighting for reflections, and I'm, let me go ahead and get closer to this right here. And you can see the car right there. And I go to hit lighting reflection. It just looks so much better. It got rid of that weird something going on over here. I just cleaned it up just a little bit. And I'll decrease this to one so you can kind of see. It gets a little bit noisier over there. I'm not sure if you can see that, but I can on my end. And if I go to surface cache right here, you're going to see that. I'm not sure what that is, but it's not nice. So again, hit lighting and it changes to four or so. It just cleans up that noise a little bit. Okay. And then looking at this example right here, I'll turn us to surface cache again. And as you can see right here in this chrome ball, you go hit lighting reflection. It just defines that shadow a little bit more. And yeah, basically that's really what I wanted to demonstrate. It's just how much better the new hardware Lumen reflections look. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you all today. If you all have any questions, let me know. And what did you all think? Was that better hardware in your opinion? Because I think it is.